silliest part you want to marry me next, Belinda? Yes, Lord Mayor. Then prove yourself worthy. Travel around the world in 80 days. Impossible! We shall do it. And bet your 20,000 pounds you can't take so bad. Around the world in 80 days. Papa Thu. So far, we marry Belinda May. Papa Thu. Yes, no lives, and your service. Stop Bob from traveling around the world in 80 days. I must win that bet. Bob may fail because of fix, and then Bob mixes his the trick around the world with Bob the Duke. Oh, Phileas, do be careful. My uncle is sending this man named Six to stop you. Don't you worry, mademoiselle. I, as his companion, shall watch out for Monsieur Six. Around the world in 80 days, so Bob may marry Blinda May. Around the world with Well, Passepartout, too, the coach is due here shortly to take us on the next leg of our journey. Where are we going today, monsieur? To the port of Otranto, where I have arranged passage on a small sailboat which leaves this afternoon for the coast of Greece, where we must catch the train tomorrow. Did you hear that, Mr. Fix? I did, Mr. Fix. Well, have you got a plan, Mr. Fix? Have I got a plan? Have I got a plan? I'll fix that fog! Is there anything special I should pack, monsieur? Well, let's see. Uh, for a journey like this, we'll need, um... Uh, this book on how to sail a boat. But why do we need that? We are not going to be doing the sailing, monsieur. Um... About two dozen termites. Two dozen termites? A skeleton key. A steamship timetable from Gibraltar to Athens. And a candle. Very well, monsieur. Here, we are all packed. Just in time, too. Here comes the coach. Oh, oh! All aboard for a Tranto, all aboard! Mrs. Driver? See? Si? We must get to a Tranto to catch a boat, but a man named Fix might try to stop us, so hurry! Hurry? Hurry? What is this, hurry? Hurry uh, is a fast, a zoom, a presto, presto! Ah, presto! <laughs> Good time. The faster the better, monsieur. This is very wild country and I do not like it. It certainly is wild. There are very few people in these mountains, but there are lots of wolves and wild boars. I hope nothing happens to this coach. I don't think... Whoa! Whoa! I say, driver, why are we stopping out here in the wilderness? It's a rest. Stop. It's a, uh, how you say, regulations. Uh, give the horses and passengers the rest. Capital idea. We'll have a spot of tea. Inside, if you please, uh, senor. Doubting your chances before you're done may cost you the race you might have won. Now, think about this for a moment. The building is obviously made of wood. And what destroys wood? Fire! We shall burn it down while we are in it. Come, come, past part two, think. What else destroys wood? Mmm, termites! Precisely. I'll just release our little friends and let them go to work.
for long sea voyage. He will be lost for days in the Greek islands. Your job, make sure Fogg arrives at the Tranto waterfront by five o'clock. My boys will do the rest. Well, that's simple, Mr. Fix. Nothing to it, Mr. Fix. When Fogg arrives in town, I'll just work out one of my clever plans to get him down to the waterfront. Easy. Aren't you forgetting something, Mr. Fix? What's that, Mr. Fix? You locked up Fogg in the mountains, Mr. Fix. And a very good job I did, too. He'll never get to a tranter. Never get to a tranter! You dumb dumb! Got to get him back! Got to get him back! Got to get him back! But nothing is happening with you, and it is getting late. I'm worried, and Toto is worried. Termites work slowly, Passepartout, but they work surely. Do not see anything, monsieur. Termites work from the inside. They hollow out the wood and pretty soon it's just like paper. They can turn a whole building into sawdust. Almost there, Mr. Fix. What are you going to tell them, Mr. Fix? Better disguise yourself, Mr. Fix. As what, Mr. Fix? How about a travel agent, Mr. Fix? Brilliant, Mr. Fix. Sounds hollow to me, Passepartout. We should be out of here in no time. Now I'm here. Uh, oh, uh, Al, you need Cookie at your service. Cookie's my name and travel's my game. Understand you want to get to a tranto. Nothing simpler. <laughs> but how did you know? Quiet, Toto. Behave, you naughty monkey. I'm the world's greatest travel agent. Here today, gone tomorrow is my motto. In you go. No time to lose. No time to lose. Off we go. Dear. <laughs> With both the know which one is Fogg. Lord May said Fogg will be wearing a tall hat. As soon as we see him, we grab him, toss him into a sack, pop on board, and sail away. How long we supposed to be at sea? Lord May said to sail around at least 80 days. Fire, boo! Your hat, it is ruined! No matter, I think I uh, can repair it when we get aboard the ship. He should be here by now. Look! Must be Fog. See the tall hat. But they look so stupid. <laughs> here we are, gents. Right at the waterfront. Cookies, travel service, got you any time. Right this way, if you please. You've done a good job. How much do we owe? I said, where did he go? Parlez-vous! He has disappeared! Well, no time to look. And that's our boat over there, and we're just going to make it. Ah! Ah, Mr. Fogg, I thought we were going to have to sail without you. Had a little delay, but now we can get underway for Greece. You dumb dumb slip me out of here! You got the wrong man! Let me out, I say! Oh, that's better! Now, nah, see, you've made a terrible mistake. I'm not Fog, I'm Fix. <laughs> that's what they all say. Lord May says to grab a jet in a tall hat, and that's you. But you don't understand. That was a disguise. Oh, 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 oh. A disguise, is it? Mighty suspicious, Mr. Fog. Disguise, it is mighty suspicious. I'm not Fog, I'm Fix. Fix is after Fog, so as Fix, I'll disguise myself to fool Fog. So Fix can fix. Oh, no, what's the use? Oh, a likely story. I don't think you know who you are. I'm Fix. 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 I work for Lord Mace, too. Prove it. Just prove it, Mr. Fix. How are you going to do that, Mr. Fix? Show him your credentials, Mr. Fix. 
What credentials, Mr. Fix? Hmm. How about the telegram, Mr. Fix? From Lord Mays, Mr. Fix. Exactly, Mr. Fix. Brilliant, Mr. Fix. I thought so. Here, look at this. Now, do you understand? I was just carrying out my orders, bringing fog to you, when you dummies grabbed the wrong man. Now, what will we do? Well, if we don't do something fast, Fogg will make his connections in Greece and Lord Mays will be very, very, very mad. Do you have a plan? Do we have a plan? Do I have a plan? Well, now that you mention it, no. First, we've got to find Fogg. But where is he? Somewhere out there, on the good ship Argo. The Ionian Sea Pass Part 2. One of the most beautiful and historic bodies of water on the face of the earth. Historic, monsieur? Why, do you know that thousands of years ago, the ancient Greeks sailed over this very water, exploring for new lands? And later, the ancient Romans sailed across here to conquer Greece. And up ahead is the island of Ithaca, where Ulysses was king. Whole armies have sailed across here, Passepartout. It is so peaceful out here now. No fix tricks to worry about either. Look, there is another boat. Hmm. It seems to be trying to catch us. Parlez-vous! They are shooting at us! Well, Captain, what are you going to do? Captain? Captain! Where are you going? We have no chance. Nonsense. Starting your chances before you've done may cost you the race you might have won. We'll sail the ship ourselves. But I do not know how to sail, monsieur. The book, lad. You can learn as you go along. I'll take the helm. You and Toto handle the sails. key to unlock these chains. But I do not have the bag. Over there. They brought the bag with me, but they put it out of my reach. But what now? I must get back or they will come for me. No, lad. We're going for a swim. Follow me. Bob. 
Parlez-vous à swim out in all this water? According to my calculations, we're just a short distance from a small island. And how are we to get there from this boat, monsieur? Swim, fast, Matou. Quickly now. We can never swim so far, and there is probably no island there at all. And think of the sharks, monsieur. Oh, there is no chance for us. Doubting your chances before you're done may cost you the race you might have won. We'll be that fast for two. Or won't we desert? A fawn cabin boy he makes. Cabin boy? Where are you, cabin boy? More than likely asleep, that one. Or sitting his own stomach. They won't be making it to land from out here. But we have to try and find them! Why? Just so long as they don't get to Greece, who cares where they are? And believe me, they won't get any place from out here. Oh. <laughs> but there's a job to be done! I have to go after them, I tell you! Oh, did you hear that now? Mr. Fix has got to go after those two. Well, now I think we can oblige. No! Stop! This is the small island I told you about. But we are still far away from Greece, are we not? How shall we ever manage to make our train? There is still time, Fat Batu, but we must hurry. Give me the timetable from the bag. Just as I thought. In a short while, a steamer will be just a few miles from here, headed for the coast of Greece. A few miles? Parlez-vous! What good will that be to us? We cannot swim a few miles. But we can get aboard, lad. Come along and do as I tell you. <laughs> oh, I might have known. There he is at it again. Fog never knows when he's fixed. I'll just sneak up and see what he's up to. Parlez-vous! How is it possible for such a thing to work, monsieur? Same principle as a slingshot, Passepartout. By bending down these trees to precisely the right angle, we fix them so that they will fling whatever is aboard to our destination. You mean, we shall be aboard that? Precisely. But how? Who would release the trees? We cannot be up there and down here at the same time. It will never, never work, Monsieur Fogg. Doubting your chances before you're done may cost you the race you might have won. The candle, Passepartout. The candle? But it is not yet dark. We shall use the candle to release the rope. See here. When we are ready, we simply light this candle, which will burn through the rope, which will release the bent trees, which will fling us through the air to land at our destination. So, that's their plan, is it, Mr. Fix? And what can you do about it, Mr. Fix? Well, if they're planning to fling themselves into Greece, why can't I do the same? Righto, Mr. Fix. Only you can fling yourself first, Mr. Fix, then get there ahead of those two. Good idea, Mr. Fix. That way I can have a little surprise party ready when they land. Then hurry along, Mr. Fix. <coughs> Steady, Passepartout. We'll be sailing through the air any moment now to land aboard that steamship. It requires split-second timing, or we might miss and land in the water. Parlez-vous! I hope you have split the seconds in just the right way, monsieur. He does not know we are aimed for a steamship. <laughs> Look at them, sliding along the ice. A 
when I get to Greek first, I'll prepare me a little surprise party for them man. There is a steamship up ahead! Right on schedule. What's wrong? I'm stuck in down. But we haven't reached land yet. What's happening? Down! <laughs> Would you care for a spot of tea, gentlemen, before we land in Greece? Good show. Tea time, exactly. Oh, Monsieur Todd, this time I have learned my lesson well. Doubting your chances before you're done may cost you the race you might have won. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, if you're overconfident, you might miss the boat. Good show, Batu. Around the world in 80 days, Paspatu, so Fog may marry Brinda Mace. Paspatu, Fog may fail because of fix, and then Fog nicks his fix his tricks. Around the world with Paspatu. Around the world in 80 days, so Fog may marry Brinda Mace. Around the world with 